Global Forest Watch makes it easy to view and analyze data online, but you can also access and explore GFW's datasets on ArcGIS. Combine your own data with GFW data layers to build, publish, and share custom interactive maps. To start, go to ArcGIS Online and log in. If you don't have an account set up yet, you can create a free public account. Make sure that you understand the terms of use, as a public account is only for non-commercial purposes. You can log in using Facebook or Google, or enter your information to set up an account with ArcGIS. Now you're ready to start using ArcGIS Online. Click on the Map button in the top menu to begin. This is the base map that you will add data to. You can change the way your map looks using the Base Map button, which has a variety of options like satellite imagery or a dark or light canvas. Pick a base map that you think will work best to illustrate your dataset. Click on Add to put data on your map. You can search for data online, add data from a web service, or upload data you have saved in a file. To access data from Global Forest Watch, select Search for Layers. Type in Global Forest Watch. Make sure to search in ArcGIS Online since you are searching for datasets uploaded to ArcGIS. You will also see that the box next to Within Map Area is checked. By default, ArcGIS filters the search results to the specified map location. If you would like to search for datasets that are global or outside of the geographic coverage of your map, uncheck this box. Next, click the Go button. The results will show the name of each dataset as well as the user who uploaded it. All official GFW datasets will be tagged with Global Forest Watch. Select the data layers that you would like to explore and click Add to put them on the map. Let's say you're interested in Cameroon's intact forest landscapes or undisturbed forest areas and agro-industrial zones, areas where oil palm, rubber, and other crops may be planted. Once you've added the data you want, click on Done Adding Layers. The tab on the left side of your screen lists all of your datasets and allows you to style your data, configure pop-ups, create labels, and more. To change how the data looks on the map, click on the Change Style icon. Select the attribute you would like to style and then Options to choose a color and adjust the transparency. Here, for example, we can see where agro-industrial zones overlap with intact forests to get an idea of how agriculture impacts primary forests in Cameroon. You can explore the dataset's attributes by selecting the table icon. If you would like to filter by a specific attribute, use the filter function. For example, if you are interested in plantations owned by a particular company, select the attribute and type in the company name. Click Apply Filter. Now the map will only show plantations from this company. Click on any individual shape in the map to get more information about it in a pop-up menu. You can configure pop-ups using the More Options menu. If you are going to share your map as a web application using the GFW Map Builder, you need to enable pop-ups so that your attributes are carried over to your web app. Now that you have created your own map, you can save it by clicking the Save button at the top of the page. Enter a title like Intact Forests and Agriculture in Cameroon. Add tags like Cameroon, Agriculture, and Forests and write a short summary so that it is easy for others to find your map. Then select a folder to save it in and press Save Map. Now you can share your map. Make sure to select that your map is shared with everyone so that it is visible to the public. Click on the Share button to get a link to your map, post it on Facebook or Twitter, or embed it in a website or blog. You can also create a web app using one of the ArcGIS templates or the Map Builder to customize an interactive map that you can share with anyone. Now you know how to create your own map in ArcGIS Online using data from Global Forest Watch.
For more instructions on using ArcGIS, check out one of our other tutorial videos or visit the ArcGIS tutorial page.